Thank you all for being here. I want to thank you all for attending this talk titled Medical Knowledge Discovery with Deep Learning Model. It's my honor to be here. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to introduce our experience in this topic. I'm Chen Lin, I'm Associate Professor at National Defense Medical Center, major in Deep Learning Application in Medical Domain. In the beginning, let's see an interesting research about AI. However, this is not the artificial intelligence, but is animal intelligence. In this work, they try to train animals to be a pathologist. And finally, animals can discriminate with more than 80% accuracy. This is not a special case. All animals in their experience can discriminate with a high accuracy. How to train an animal? In mathematical view, an animal can be seen as a mathematical function. The function input is the pathology photo, and the function output is benign or malignant. How to learn? We can design a bonus system for our animals. For example, if they correct discriminate the photo, we can provide some bonus that they know that is a good way. Less, AI is not magic, but only a mathematical problem. Computer scientists and statisticians will try to develop a powerful mathematical function to simulate our brain. The mathematical function is called as artificial intelligence. To use mathematical function as in artificial intelligence is not a fresh idea, but there is very difficult to do well. In 2000 to 2010, people try to compare their performance to a rule-based system and the mathematical function, and finally they find the rule-based system seems better than mathematical function. Of course, their ability is very much lower than human in that time. In 2009, a large-scale annotation database called as ImageNet with more than 1 million annotated photos was released. This ImageNet with more is the fire of current AI revolution. The competition of com computer vision is begin at 2010, and it is called as the ImageNet large-scale vision recognition challenge. This plot is the classification error of champion algorithm by year. It is very important to know the human ability in this test. The classification error of human is about 5%. Before 2012, all team used rule-based system and achieved 25% to 30% error rate. This is a large gap to human ability. However, the champion of 2012 achieved 16 error rate and they used the mathematical function. All other teams at 2012 are used rule-based system and achieve about 25% error rate. This is the start of current AI evolution. After this year, all teams are used the mathematical function to do their algorithm. The next breakthrough is 2015. Microsoft team solved the big mathematical problem for training this algorithm, and their ResNet achieved greater than human ability. After this year, all released mathematical functions are called as artificial intelligence. Science, 2012 to now, the pub published paper about medical artificial intelligence has a huge growth. Most of them are used CNN convolution neural network to analyze their data. Convolution neural network is a specific spatial neural network based on the biological vision mechanism. It is also the mathematical function used in ImageNet large-scale visual recognition charge. Because the current breakthrough is mainly in the image analysis, now AI can easily identify the implied messenger of image. The mathematical function uh, was used in medical AI field. The medical AI field not only has a huge number of research, but also a lot of high quality paper. In recent, Nature Medicine, a top medical journal, even released a special issue of medical AI 
all papers in this issue of January 2019 are about AI. Let's see how medical field to use current AI technology. Current deep learning technology is the third generation of AI. The deep learning model can be used in diabetes retinopathy diagnosis. There is an international Kago champion a competition opened in internet. The paper are published in JAMA, and authors use the Inception Net, the champion algorithm at 2014 in ImageNet Challenge, to do this work and achieve the clinical physician's ability to diagnose the diabetes retinopathy. This is an another international Kago competition opened in internet, the skin cancer diagnosis. This team published their algorithm in Nature at 2017, and they also used the Inception Net to do this work. In skin cancer diagnosis, AI also achieved clinical physician ability. The third case is the digital pathology. In 2016, there are 20, uh, 32 teams to participate in the ISBI challenge on cancer metastasis detection in lymph node. The left photo is the real annotation of malignant cell, and the right photo is the predict annotation from AI. We can observe the they are very close and it so show the performance of current AI. This test is very costly if you let pathology to do this, but it is very important for disease diagnosis. AI can quickly and cheaply do this work. It is a huge improvement of our healthy care system. The fourth case is about chest X-ray diagnosis. NIH released more than uh, 100,000 chest X-ray with annotation in website, and there are two papers use this database to build a radiologist level deep learning model. It can diagnose more than 14 diseases by chest X-ray with a performance better than most radiologists. In all of my development AI model, the most important one is our AI-enabled ECG system. This ECG AI is trained for our emergency room. This is a series of work of, for all diseases that can be diagnosed by ECG. And I want to introduce a case about dyscalaminia. In emergency room, dyscalaminia is a fertile and difficult to diagnose. If we want to wait the laboratory test, we need to wait about one hour and the patient will face the true risk of mortality. ECG is a fast test for dyscalaminia recognition, but it is difficult for young clinical phys physicians. Here we developed an AI assistant to dyscalaminia recognition by ECG. The normal ECG have a higher T wave and a lower U wave, and we can see the traditional hypochlamydia ECG have a lower T wave and a higher U wave. Moreover, hypochlamydia ECG has a combined T wave with a very high wave. This is a typical hypochlamydia ECG. We can observe a lower T wave followed by a higher U wave. This is a typical hypochlamydia ECG. You can observe a combined high T wave in V5. However, the clin real clinical situation is over not typical. This is a real case about a 16 years old man. He suffered the coma at the about 17, 7 o'clock, and the heart rate is only 21. If we want to wait the laboratory test, we need to wait about 14 minutes, but we, you can understand we don't have enough time now. So now we need to AI help us to decide. Tri-Service General Hospital provides more than 1,600 thousands ECGs with corresponding potassium concentration before 
2016. And we split them into three data sets, training, validation, and test set by date. And then we use the training data set to train a deep learning model. This deep learning model has 18 to trainable layer and called as ECG12Net. We have a competition to compare the accuracy of the AI and emergency physician and the cardiologist. Finally, we found the performance of our AI is greater than 10% compared to the best cardiologist. Note, 10% better than our best cardiologist and more than 20% better than emergency physicians. In the test set, we compare more than 13 years, 13,000 ECGs with corresponding potassium concentration. And finally, we found our AI has 81% sensitivity, 81 sensitivity in severe hyperkalemia with 95% specificity and uh, about 70% sensitivity in severe hypokalemia with 73% specificity. This result is better than previous research in Mayo Clinic. They used more than 4 million cases to build their hyperkalemia detection model, but the performance is worse than us. Our model is not only better than that, but also can detect hypokalemia. We have developed a web-based system for our emergency room. All ECGs in our hospital can be uploaded in this software, and physicians can use this online software to diagnose the dyscalmenia. Currently, we developed an automatic notification system to announce physicians once the ECG upload to our hospital information system, our AI system will real-time analyze this ECG and, pro and the positive cases will trigger the notification system. <coughs> this is the 60 years old man presenting a few minutes ago. Our AI predicts he is a hyperkalemia case and we try to use potassium reducing treatment for him. After three hours later, the heart rate of this 65 years old man returned to normal range, and he is alive to discharge. If there is no AI help, we don't know what happened after with the brother laboratory test. We demonstrate the advantage of deep learning model compared to the physicians. Not only for detecting the well-known diagnosis related with ECG, such as dyscalmenia, in 2019, the most important paper of AI-enabled ECG is the work from Mayo Clinic, which to use AI-enabled ECG to detect left ventricular dysfunction. In the past, no one can use ECG to diagnose a heart failure case. The golden standard was to use cardi cardio echogram to diagnose by low ejection fraction. However, the paper revealed a high area on the curve of 0 0.93 to detect an ejection fraction of less than 35% and the false positive prediction had more than fourfold risk to develop to future left ventricular dysfunction compared to the true negative case. Previous study has demonstrated to use AI-enabled ECG for predicting sex and age. Finally, they found that an AUC of 0 0.97 for sex and a correlation coefficient of 0 0.8 Three for age. In the past, no one can use the ECG to predict sex and age, but deep learning model demonstrates a strong relationship between demographic data and ECG. This can help us to understand more potentials of ECG. According to a broad previous study, we found the use this deep learning model to apply the other diseases that not mentioned previously. For example, 
with both the AI-enabled ECG can also use to detect deep, deep, uh, diabetes and uh, chronic kidney disease. There two diseases were not identified by previous textbooks. However, deep learning model achieved more than 80% accuracy in diabetes diagnosis and more than 85% accuracy to diagnose chronic kidney disease. We not only use the AI to diagnose specific disease, we have analyzed the meaning of false positive predictions. For example, in patients with normal range of potassium level, the AI identified dyscalmenia, short as pink color and blue color, had higher prevalence of chromobiotis compared to the AI identified negative cases, short as green color. And this phenomenon was also shown in patients with higher potassium level and a lower potassium level. AI identified that positive cases had a higher prevalence of comorbidities compared to the AI identified negative cases. Since the false positive case may have worse physician physical conditions, we compare the relationship between ECG-based potassium level and the lab-based, laboratory-based potassium level and the mortality. We can see the relationship between ECG-based potassium and uh, short as red color and the mortality was more dominant in lower compared to the uh, laboratory-based potassium level in the lower potassium level concentration. This demonstrated the advantage of deep learning model to discover new medical knowledge. We have published this result in NPJ Digital Medicine, which was the first ranked journal in AI medical field. In conclusion, we consider that DLM can discover new medical knowledge using big data. Deep learning model can automatically learn the relationship between the examination result and annotation. Although the black box limitation cannot let us direct, directly understand the detailed mechanism. However, it is can use quickly identify the potential relationship to guide the future mechanism study. This is our medical artificial intelligence practice, and I want to thank National Defense Medical Center to provide enough resource and tri service journal hospital to provide big data for AI training. Moreover, all people here have helped me to conduct my experiment, including funding support, annotations, information system application. In the future, we will further use AI to apply in other situations. Thank you for your attention.